Welcome to Wilson Art Adhesives. For over 40 years, Wilson Art Adhesives has been a pioneer and innovator in the development of various adhesives products such as high solid formulations, acetone substituted formulations, and water-based contact adhesives. Wilson Art has been assisting fabricators with specifically formulated adhesives that work well with Wilson Art's extensive line of laminate and other surfacing option products. Customer service assistance comes from real people and rapid response times via telephone, email, or chat lines 24 hours a day. Product information including technical data sheets, SDSs, Green Guard certificates, and frequently asked questions are also accessible 24 hours a day through the website and is available for downloading. Wilson Art adhesives are easy to use and assist in supporting quality installations when proper tooling and parameters are used. Today, we'll be illustrating the proper loading coverage, open time, and applying adequate pressure when bonding high-pressure decorative laminate to a suitable substrate. First, let's take a look at a visual chart available from Wilson Art Adhesives that illustrates a very good, good, and not acceptable adhesive coverage. In this illustration, we are using WA-800, which is red in pigment and is very easily seen on approved substrates. Wilson Art offers non-pigmented adhesives that are applied in the same way but make it more difficult to see based on its color which is similar to particle board and other like substrates. Next, the appropriate and clean equipment is vital to a successful application and bond. Today we are using a 2.5 gallon pressure tank equipped with gauges and hoses. We are using a tank liner to protect the inside of the tank and to make adhesive changeouts and cleaning easier on the fabricator. By using one gallon cans, we can also submerge the can into the tank and pull from the can itself and not contaminate the liner or tank, making changes and cleaning a breeze. Be sure to secure the lid to the tank prior to pressurizing tank with air hose. Wilson Art Adhesives provides a quick reference chart and technical brochure that provides you all the information in reference to the contact adhesive you are using, from color of adhesive, solids by weight, open and dry time, viscosity, and even the volatile organic compounds, VOCs, which are carbon-containing chemicals which contribute to the formation of ground-level ozone. Also provided is the various application methods and equipment used to apply contact adhesives. By using the quick reference chart for this demonstration, we would be able to identify what our air tank pressure should be, a continuous 100 PSI air source, and what our fluid line, 3 8 inch ID, and pot pressure gauge, 10 to 15 PSI, should be. What type of fluid tip used within the adhesive gun for a specific adhesive per tech data sheet is very crucial, and how it moves freely, allowing for a correct load and spray pattern atomization. After proper setup, it's time to apply adhesive. Using a parallel line to the components approximately 10 to 12 inches above the surface, apply adhesive at a medium rate of left to right steady movement. Be sure not to fluctuate up and down from the surface. This can cause inconsistency in the adhesive coverage. Overlap your pattern approximately a quarter of your overall spray fan pattern. Be careful to apply adequate adhesive on the edges. Cross your pattern once you are complete with your first passes. Be sure to apply a good crossing pattern, which will apply a good load and coverage. Another option is to apply over in the same direction, once again, overlapping the spray pattern. Excessive amounts of adhesive can occur and will cause issues with proper bonding. Sudden stops, being too close to the component, slow speed can cause excessive amounts of adhesive to build up, causing an extended open time in that area if applied still wet. An adequate bond will not occur. Excessive blushing of the laminate face is a good indicator that excessive amounts of adhesive have been applied. Another possible issue is swinging, erratic movement, and being too far from component as you are applying adhesive. This will limit the amount of load and provide a very sporadic coverage, thus accelerating the open time in that area and limiting the bond strength. The open time is very important. This is the window of time that begins when an adhesive is applied to the substrate and ends when the laminate is applied to make an assembly. Temperature and humidity affect open time. Correct pressure is a must. 3-inch J-roller or set pinch roller, blocks of wood, floor rollers, straight handle roller, 
and even straight hand pressure are examples of incorrect methods to apply pressure. This completes the bonding process using Wilson Art 800. Standard laminate machining process can immediately begin after adequate bonding pressure has been applied. For cleaning overspray, you will need a Wilson Art cleaner. For cleaning guns and hoses, you will need a Wilson Art solvent. When using a solvent to clean overspray, the solvent will melt and smear the adhesive rather than remove it. The cleaner, however, will remove or ball up the overspray and leave a clean surface. The Wilson Art line of adhesives products include solvent-based contacts, aerosolized contacts, canisterized contacts, a water-based non-flammable contact, solvents and cleaners, wood glues, type 2 glue, and PVA type white glues. Wilson Art also offers a full range of container sizes from 1 pint to 330 gallon tote tanks.